ఏపీ డీజీపీగా గౌతమ్ సవాంగ్ బాధ్యతలు తీసుకున్నారు ఇప్పుడు అలా అవి చూద్దాం దేశంలోనే అత్యుత్తమమైన ఏపీ పోలీస్ వ్యవస్థకు నాయకత్వం వహించడం సంతోషంగా ఉందన్నారు డీజీపీ గౌతమ్ సవాంగ్ విభజన తర్వాత ఎదురైన సవాళ్లను సమర్థవంతంగా అధిగమించామని ఇంకా కొన్ని సవాళ్లు అధిగమించాల్సి ఉందని గౌతమ్ సవాంగ్ తెలిపారు మంగళగిరిలోని ఏపీ హెడ్ క్వార్టర్స్ లో నిర్వహించిన పరేడ్ లో పోలీసుల నుంచి గౌరవ వందనం స్వీకరించారు పోలీసింగ్ షుడ్ బి సీన్ యాజ్ అనదర్ ఏజెన్సీ ఆఫ్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ విచ్ ఎక్స్టెండ్ పోలీస్ సర్వీసెస్ టు ద సిటిజన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టేట్ అండ్ సిటిజన్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ కంట్రీ సో ఒక సేవా భావనతో డ్యూటీ చేయడము ఈ సామాన్య ప్రజలకు కామన్ మ్యాన్ షుడ్ ఫీల్ కాన్ఫిడెంట్ దట్ పోలీస్ ఈస్ ఫర్ దేర్ సేఫ్టీ ఫర్ దేర్ సెక్యూరిటీ వాళ్ళ కోసమే మన కోసం అని ఒక ఆలోచన ఒక భావన ప్రజల్లో తీసుకురావాలని ద డైరెక్షన్ దట్ హెస్ బిన్ గివెన్ బై అవర్ ఆనరబుల్ సీఎం సో వీ వుడ్ బి స్ట్రైవింగ్ అండ్ వర్క్ వర్కింగ్ టువర్డ్స్ దట్ డైరెక్షన్ పర్టికులర్లీ common man and the masses vulnerable sections in the society which needs the services of the police and when i say vulnerable sections it is basically women children senior citizens people from a peda prajalu samanya prajalu who feel vulnerable in the society it will be a bounden responsibility and duty of the police to give them reassurance give them confidence so that has been our uh, mandate given to us by the government so we will be working towards that there is a lot to be done in terms of building our own capacities ఇందాక చెప్పినలాగా ఆ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషనల్ కెపాసిటీ చాలా వరకు మనం మనకు సాధించాలి టు బిల్డ్ అవర్ కెపాసిటీస్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఎ హిస్టారికల్ లెగసీ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొఫెషనలిజం బట్ వీ ఆర్ స్టిల్ గ్రాప్లింగ్ విత్ సర్టన్ ఏరియాస్ వీ నీ టు హ్యావ్ అవర్ ట్రైనింగ్ అకాడమీ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వీ నీ టు ఫోకస్ ఇన్ ఇన్ హౌస్ ట్రైనింగ్ ఇంటర్నల్ ఇన్ హౌస్ ట్రైనింగ్ 
orientation and preparedness in all fields of policing. I am very confident that all the police officers will all work together towards achieving these new goals, the new vision of this government in this new state of Andhra Pradesh. I know that division has been hard, but it is being taken as an opportunity. When there is a change, people are asking for change. You have seen the mandate in the recent elections. So that is the expectations of the people. There is expectations from the people that they need performance, they need <coughs> deliveries. So we will be meeting those expectations. We will strive our best towards that. As regards crime trend, crime pattern in the state so far, crime re related to women and children, particularly girl children, that we need to focus. Then road accidents is an area of concern. I believe Andhra Pradesh has third highest number of fatalities in this country. So there is a need to look at it. And we need to devise strategies to deal with this crime trend on the ground. We will be doing a detailed study and wherever necessary seek assistance and expertise from outside to try to find solutions and devise strategies to deal with this accidents which is causing a huge number of deaths, loss of life, precious life. Apart from that, Focusing on organized crime, a new trend which has emerged in the last couple of years is cyber crimes. Uh, we have many other crimes which are uh, on the internet, uh, which also needs attention. That's an area which always, uh, police are always one step behind in trying to catch up with those who are perpetrating, taking advantage of these new domains and using it for a wrongful means. So we will be developing our capacities in as far as dealing with the cyber crime and crime in the cyberspace. There is also a recent trend in the inc uh, with increase in consumption of drugs and availability of drugs. Uh, so that's another area that uh, we need to focus in. Uh, my discussions with my officers before coming here, they have raised concern. We will also be studying um, various areas where which needs attention and we will shall go about in a very systematic manner. Once again, friends, I will take questions and answers from you all because all of you are also, uh, I think, very well versed with uh, police and policing subjects. And I'm sure you have a lot of questions to ask. Uh, so perhaps uh, in taking questions and answers, I will respond to all your queries and things. And once again, before I finish, uh, I seek the cooperation of every one, every staff member within the police department. Uh, our Honorable CM was also very concerned about the welfare and well-being, the hard and difficult circumstances under which a policeman has to work. Uh, he's always 
at the receiving end uh, with too many demands and expectations on him. Uh, his working environment is very harsh and difficult. So he had already announced one, one day as a weekly off to our staff, uh, which, has been, which has been received with very great response within the rank and file of the police department. And that is the start. And to achieve that, we will be working towards that. Uh, short of manpower, if there is one day off, uh, we will be also attending to that. Uh, government has assured that they will look into what needs uh, to, to achieve that objective. But again, as I said, that is the start. That is the beginning. There will be measures in times to come to, to take care of the welfare of our, not only of our staff, but also the family members. So, I'm sure that every staff member of AP Police today, they are also looking forward. The change atmosphere with new expectations, new hopes, they would like to serve the society serve the nation. So I is really, on behalf of AP Police, seek support of all stakeholders. To start with, of course, the media. You're always uh, the watchdog of the society. I seek your support to achieve our goals and responsibilities. I know that you have a role to play, and we also have a role to play. We need to have a mutual symbiotic relationship towards that. At the same time, uh, all sections of the society, all stakeholders in the society, it's also important to involve stakeholders of the society. It will be a, an effort and initiative which will be collaborative and participatory. We will involve cross sections of the society, different stakeholders who can help us to help them. So therefore, we will be inviting anybody and everybody who is keen to bring change and to do better, to help the police to serve better, perform better. So may it be the intelligentsia, may it be from the academic field, may it be students and youth, may it be activists, may it be technical experts who have the knowledge in their domains and areas, because we will be needing to grow, we will be needing support to jumpstart our capacities. It may be in the areas of technology, it may be in the areas of uh, police outreach programs, proactive interfaces, particularly the vulnerable sections. We will be also collaborating with various other partners stakeholders working in the various fields which needs attention. For example, women's issues or children's issues, senior citizens issues, a common man's issues. So there is a need for a paradigm change, shift in our existence and engagement. So towards this, once again, it's my proud privilege. I feel very proud today to be here, to be in this office, and I will do my best to serve the state and the nation. 
I once again thank the Honorable CM, Sri Jagan Mohan Redigaru, for giving me this opportunity, reposing so much of faith and confidence in me to deliver the vision and the goals which the government has set. Thank you very much, friends. And I seek your support in this. Thank you, friends. Transparency, from where you are going to start from transparency? You see, there are, uh, when you say transparency in policing, uh, it comes along with accountability. Okavela, Anukondi, Oko Udharan and Istunam. Police station ke Yaru, complain each Naru, a complain a Yema Indi. Okay? In Tamundo Gatamlo, Vijoda Lokuda, there was an initiative.